Today we're going to be learning about adding and subtracting common fractions. First, before we get on to examples, we're going to go through a couple of things that are going to help you in this section. The first is just reminding you about the LCD or the lowest common denominator. Remember, we learned in the last lesson that the lowest common denominator is the lowest number that all denominators can divide into evenly without any remainder. So if you have an example where you've got the fraction 1 over 6 and the fraction 4 over 9, then the lowest common denominator in this example would be 18 because 18 is the smallest number that 6 and 9 can both go into evenly without any remainders. So I would change this to something over 18 and this also to something over 18. How do I get from the 6 to the 18? I multiply by 3. So I'm going to change the 1 to 1 times 3 which is 3. And over here, how do I get from 9 to 18? I multiply by 2, so I'm going to multiply the 4 by 2 as well, giving me 8 over 18. So this is something you're going to have to do when you are doing adding and subtracting fractions as well, is you need to first make sure that you find the lowest common denominator and convert fractions so that they have all got the same denominator as each other, so that you'll then be able to add and subtract the fractions, just like we had to do when we, when we were comparing fractions. The, the other thing that I want to just make sure that you're aware about is if you've got mixed numbers. So a mixed number is something like this. If you have three and a half, this is a mixed number. A mixed number has got a whole number and a fraction together. Okay, so if you have a question where you've been given mixed numbers, then it's important for you to know how to convert this to an improper fraction because it'll be easier for you to solve it if you change it to improper fractions. It's not essential. You can also solve it if you keep it as all the numbers as mixed numbers, but it does make it easier. You're less likely to have problems or mistakes if you convert them all to mixed to improper fractions first. So just to remind you about how to do that. In order to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction, what we need to do is we need to take the whole number and multiply it by the denominator and then add the numerator. So 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 gives me 7, and that's going to be 7 over 2. So the numerator is what's going to change. The denominator doesn't change. It stays as it is. The numerator changes when we take the 3, we multiply it by the denominator, and we add the numerator, and then it becomes 7. So it's going to be 7 over 2. This is going to be helpful when we're doing questions as well. As I said, it's not essential. You can do these calculations without converting. But I'm not going to go through that method because I find that it causes problems for a lot of people and I don't want to cause problems unnecessarily. It's easier if you just convert to improper fractions right from the start, where an improper fraction is where you have a top heavy fraction. So it's more at the top than at the bottom. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing when we are doing the examples today. The first example we're going to go through is this one over here. We've got one and two thirds plus five and a half minus 3 and 5 sixths, and we need to simplify this as far as possible. Okay, so let's just write that down quickly. So we've got 1 and 2 thirds, that's an, a mixed number, plus 5 and a half is also a mixed number, minus 3 and 5 over 6, which is also a mixed number. So remember, the first thing we're going to do is take those mixed numbers and we're going to convert them to improper fractions. So for the first one, I take the 1, multiply it by 3, and then add 2, and that gives me 5. So it's going to be 5 over 3 plus. Second one, I take the whole number, the 5, I multiply it by the denominator, so that's 10, and I add the 1, so that's 11. So 11 over 2 minus, over here, same thing. I take the whole number, I multiply by the denominator, so it's 3 times 6 is 18, plus the numerator gives me 23. So that's 23 over 6. So now I've converted everything to improper fractions. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my LCD. Now my LCD is the number that all three of these denominators can go into, the smallest number that all three of these denominators can go into evenly. And in this case, that LCD is going to be 6. So I'm going to change all of these fractions to something over 6. So this is going to become something over 6 plus this is going to become something over 6, and then minus, and then this is also going to be something over 6. Right, so for this one, how do I change the 3 to 6? I need to multiply it by 2. So I'm going to multiply the numerator by 2 as well. That gives me 10 over 6. For the second one, to convert this to 6, I need to multiply it by 3. So I'm going to multiply the 11 by 3 as well. Give me 33 
over 6. And then this one's already over 6, so I don't need to do anything to it. It stays as it is. Once I've got everything over 6, I can now go and I can simplify. Now that the denominator is the same, I can just add and subtract my numerators. Please be aware your denominator is not going to change. What we're doing here is we're saying we have 10 sixths plus 33 sixths minus 23 sixths. How many sixths are we going to be left with? That's what we are going to be working out. So they're still going to be sixths. They're not going to change. Okay, so it's still going to be something over six. I'm going to be adding and subtracting my numerators. So 10 plus 33 minus 23 is what I'm working out. The sixes are going to stay exactly as they are. So 10 plus 33 minus 23, that's going to give me 20 over 6. Okay, so now once I've got to this, remember the instruction was to simplify as far as possible. If you look at that fraction, I can still simplify that by dividing the numerator and the denominator both by 2. I can simplify this. I can say 2 goes in there 10 times, 2 goes in there three times and that leaves me with 10 over 3. Now 10 over 3 can't be simplified any further which means I am now finished with that question. So that's what you're going to be doing in these questions today. First if there are any improper or any mixed numbers convert them to improper fractions. Second find your LCD make sure that you know what the lowest common denominator is and convert all the fractions so that they have that denominator of your LCD. Then you keep the denominator the same and you add and subtract the numerators. So over here it was 10 plus 33 minus 23. The sixes stayed six. Okay. And then once you get your answer, you need to check if you can simplify that further. If you can, you need to simplify it. If you can't, you obviously just leave it as it is. Okay. So the first example that you're going to do for yourself now is this one over here. Question A. We have got 7 over 9 minus 4 over 9. This is a nice easy one just to get you warmed up. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to do it. Okay, so let's go through that example. So over here, we've got 7 over 9 minus 4 over 9. First, we don't have any mixed numbers, so we don't have to worry about converting anything to improper fractions. And if you check, we already have the same denominator, so I don't need to worry about finding my LCD. I can go straight ahead and I can subtract these. Remember, when you are subtracting fractions, you keep the denominator the same, so it's going to stay over 9. And we subtract the numerators. So 7 minus 4, that gives me 3. Once I've done that, I need to check if I can simplify this further. 3 over 9, I can simplify. They both are divisible by 3. 3 goes in there once, 3 goes in there three times, leaving me with 1 over 3, or a third. So that's what you should have got for question A. Right, question B. For this one, you've got 9 over 20 plus 1 over 4. You need to simplify this, and I'm going to give you a minute to work on it. Okay, so let's go through that example. 
So in this one, we had 9 over 20 plus 1 over 4. In this example, we didn't have to worry about converting any mixed numbers because there weren't any. So we can go straight ahead and find our LCD. For this question, our LCD, our lowest common denominator, is going to be 20 because 20 and 4 both divide into 20 without any remainders. So 20 is going to be our denominator for both of those fractions. This one's already over 20, so just a, is going to stay as it is. Plus, but this one, I need to multiply 4 by 5 to get 20. So I need to multiply the numerator by 5 as well, giving me 5 over 20. And then I can go and add those. Remember, our denominator is going to stay the same, but I'm going to add the 9 and the 5, giving me 14. And that means that I end up with 7 over 10 when I simplify that because 2 goes into 14 7 times and 2 goes into, into 20 10 times. And then you can't simplify that any further, so we're now finished. Right, question C. For this one, you've got 3 over 5 minus 2 plus a third. I'm going to give you two minutes to work on this question. Okay, so let's go through question C. So here we had 3 over 5 minus 2 plus 1 over 3. Now the first thing you had to realize is that this 2 is actually 2 over 1. So that is 3 over 5 minus 2 over 1 plus 1 over 3. Then we're going to convert or change all of these so that we they have the LCD. But first we need to know what the LCD is. In this question, the LCD is going to be 15 because 5, 1, and 3 all divide into 15. So that's going to be over 15 minus something over 15 plus something over 15. Okay, so now when I convert all of these to 15, I see what do I need to do to the denominator to get, to get 15? Then do the same thing to the numerator. So what do I do to 5 to get 15? I need to multiply by 3. So this is going to become 3 times 3, which is 9 over 15, minus. Then over here, I need to multiply 1 by 15 to get 15. So I need to multiply the numerator by 15 as well, giving me 2 times 15, which is 30. And then plus 1 over 3, I multiply 3 by 5 to get 15. So I need to multiply 1 by 5, and that gives me 5 over 15. Now I can go and add and subtract because they've got the same denominator. Remember, the denominator stays the same. And then I'm going to add and subtract my numerators. So I've got 9 minus 30 plus 5. And that is going to give you negative 16. 
Now the negative I'm going to write in front like that. You don't have to, you can write it with a 16 if you want to, but I'm going to write it in front because the whole term is negative. So it's negative 16 over 15. That's what you should have got for question C. Right, question D. For this one, you've got three quarters minus two thirds plus one and a half minus one third. Okay, I'm going to give you two minutes to work on this one as well. Okay, so let's go through that question. So here we had three quarters minus two thirds plus one and a half. There's a mixed number that we're going to, to convert over there, minus a third. So the first thing we're going to do is change that mixed number to an improper fraction. So that's three quarters minus two thirds, and then plus, I multiply the one by two, that gives me th a two, plus this one is three. So it's going to be three over two minus a third. So that's what you should have got when you converted that to an improper fraction. The next thing we're going to do is find our LCD. So I've got denominators here, 4, 3, 2, and 3. The lowest number that all four of those can go into without any remainders is 12. So my LCD is 12, and I'm going to convert all of these to something over 12. So this is minus, this one is plus, this one is minus. Okay, so this is going to be something over 12. I'm starting with a denominator of 4, so I need to multiply that by 3 to get 12. So I'm going to multiply my 3 in the numerator by 3 as well, giving me 9 over 12. This one, I need to multiply the 3 by 4 to get 12. So I'm going to multiply my 2 by 4 as well, giving me 8. Here, I need to multiply the 2 by 6 to get 12. So I'm going to multiply the 3 by 6, giving me 18. And then here, I need to multiply by 4 to get 12. So I'm going to multiply the 1 by 4, giving me 4 over 12. So now I've got 9 over 12 minus 8 over 12 minus plus 18 over 12 minus 4 over 12. They all have the same denominator. So I can now add and subtract the numerators and keep the denominator the same. So now 9 minus 8 plus 18 minus 4. That is going to give me... 9 minus 8 plus 18 minus 4 is 15 over 12. Once you've got that, you then can go and simplify if possible, and in this case it is possible. Both of these, the numerator and the denominator, are divisible by 3. So 3 goes into 15 5 times, 3 goes into 12 4 times, leaving me with 5 over 4. So here I'm going to end up with 5 over 4. I can't simplify that any further, so I'm now done with that question. Right, and then the last one for today is question E. Here we've got 2 and a half minus 1 over 15 plus 1 and 2 fifths minus 2 and a third. And I'm going to give you two minutes for this one as well.
Okay, so let's go through that last example and see how it went. So in this example, you had two and a half minus one over 15 plus one and two fifths minus two and a third. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to convert all of these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So the two and a half is going to change to five over two. That is because I multiply the two by the two, giving me four plus one and I get five. So it's five over two. This is going to stay one over 15. But then here, I'm going to multiply 1 by 5 and get 5, plus 2 is 7 over 5. And then minus 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is also 7, but the sum is over 3. Okay, so here I've got 5 over 2, minus 1 over 15, plus 7 over 5, minus 7 over 3. So I don't have any mixed numbers left, so now I can go on and find my LCD. The LCD for this question is going to be 30, because I've got 2, 15, 5, and 3, and all three, all four of those will divide into 30 without any remainders. So that's going to be 30 in my denominator there, minus something over 30, plus something over 30, minus something over 30. The first one, I'm converting this to 30, so I need to multiply it by 15. So I need to multiply 5 by 15, and that gives me 75. This one needs to multiply by 2, so 1 times 2 is 2. Here I need to multiply by 6. 7 times 6 is 42, and here I need to multiply by 10, so 7 times 10 is 70. So that's what you should have got for your next step, where you were converting everything so that they had the LCD. Now we're going to go and add and subtract our numerators and keep the denominator the same. So the denominator is still going to be 30, but now I'm going to say 75 minus 2 plus 42 minus 70. So first 75 minus 70 is 5. Minus 2 is 3. 3 plus 42 is 45. So this all gives me 45 over 30. Now that I've got that, I need to see if I can simplify this any further. Now you can do it in a couple of steps, or you can do it all in one go. If you don't know that 15 goes into both of those, you can divide by 3 and divide by 5 separately, and you will still get to the same result. But I know that 15 goes into both of those, so I need to divide that by 15 and get 3. Divide that by 15 and get 2, and that leaves me with 3 over 2. But if you didn't do it straight away, dividing by 15, then you would have had to divide it by 5 and divide it by 3 separately. You still need to get to 3 over 2. You can't end at 9 over 6, or you can't end at 15 over 10. You have to finish at 3 over 2. Okay, and that is how we add and subtract common fractions. Now that we've learned the concepts in this lesson, it's important to practice, practice, practice. If you haven't already got the worksheet that goes with this video, you can find it by clicking on the link in the description below. The worksheet comes with an extra exercise full of questions for you to work on to master the concepts covered in this lesson. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button so that others can benefit from it too. Also be sure to subscribe so that you can easily find my other lessons and hit the bell so that you will get notified about lessons as I upload them.